Hello again. In this lesson, we learn how to prime factorize bases of exponents. We have done this in some of the examples in previous videos, but now we will go into more detail. This section is vital for the rest of the work we will do on exponents. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify prime numbers and write exponential bases as a product of prime numbers. Let's join Dumsani as he explains what a prime number is and how to write a number as a product of its prime factors. What is a prime number? A prime number is a number that has only two different factors, namely one and the number itself. Now, how can we find out if a number is prime or not? You only have to factorize it. Is 12 a prime number? You have to ask yourself, which numbers can multiply to give you 12? Can you answer this? Let's have a look. 3 times 4 will give us 12. 2 times 6 will give us 12. 1 times 12 will give us 12. How many factors does 12 have? Or in other words, how many different numbers can divide into 12? Let's see. 1 can divide into 12. 2 can divide into 12, 3 can divide into 12, 4 also divides into 12, 6 can divide into 12, 12 can divide into 12. So how many factors do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors. We saw that 12 has 6 factors. That means 12 is not a prime number. What about 15? 1 can divide into 15. 3 can divide into 15, 5 divides into 15, and 15 divides into 15. 15 is not a prime number because it has four different factors. 1, 3, 5, and 15. What about 11? Let's see. 1 can divide into 11, and 11 can divide into 11. Are there any other numbers that can divide into 11? No, they are not. 11 is a prime number. So therefore, we can say 11 is prime. Is 1 a prime number? The only number that can divide into 1 is 1. But the definition for prime number is that it must have two different factors as the only factors. One only has one factor, so one is not a prime number. Can you see that you have to know your tables pretty well to recognize prime numbers? Let us play a quick game. Can you spot the prime numbers? What did you say? Here are the prime numbers. How about spotting the prime numbers from these? You only have to think of another number except the number itself that can divide into it. Here are the prime numbers. How many even prime numbers are there? Look at the positive even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. The only prime number here is 2, since 2 is the only number that has two different factors, namely 1 and the number 2 itself. 
all the even numbers has two as a factor. So two is the only number that is an even prime number. Good. Now that you know what a prime number is, we can do some prime factorization. When we prime factorize a number, then it means we have to break it down into a product of numbers which are all prime. Have you ever seen a factor tree? I'll show you how to draw one. We will start with a number, say uh, 48. We are going to put branches on the tree like this. We start with the lowest prime number, which is 2. Is 2 a factor of 48? Yes, 48 is equal to 2 times 24. So these are our first branches. We put the prime factor in a blue circle every time. Now look at the two branches. 2 is a factor of 24. 2 goes into 24 12 times. 12 is 2 times 6. 6 has the factors 2 and 3. 3 is a prime factor. So we have finished our factor tree. We cannot go any further. All the prime numbers are placed in blue circles. Can you see them? What we did here was to prime factorize 48. Now we'll write 48 as a product of prime factors. Call it all the prime numbers in the blue circles. Let's see. 48 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and times 3. So to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So how many 2's do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. So be 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3. This was fun, don't you think? Let us do the next one together. I want you to fill in the empty boxes. Get paper and pen, then you have to write the number as a product of prime numbers. The number is 108. Here is the tree. Right, are you ready? Do you have your pen and paper in hand? Let's prime factorize then. 2 into 108 goes how many times? 2 into 10, we say 5. Into 8, it's 4. 2 into 54, 2 into 5 goes twice. We have a remainder of 1. Into 14 goes 7 times. Now what number now can go into 27? Because 2 cannot now go into 27. The next prime number will be 3. Can 3 go into 27? Yes, it goes into 27. So we put a 3 there. It goes how many times? 9 times. Prime number that can go into 9, again it will be 3. 3 goes how many times into 9? It will be 3 times. Now let's write 108 as a product of its prime numbers. That will be 108 will be equals to 2 times 2 and 3 times 3 times 3, 3 times. So it means 108 will be 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3. So every natural number can be written as a product of prime numbers. Now let's apply prime factorizing to simplify exponential expressions. Let us revise some prime factorizing. Let's find the prime factors of the following and then write the factors as powers. 16 to the power n. 16 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 4 times all to the power of n. And this can be written as 2 to the power of 4n. Just to remember the factor tree, let's prime factorize the number 162 using the factor tree. 162, find the prime factors of 162, 
The first one will be the number two. Now two goes how many times into 162? You find that it goes 81 times. Now what will be the factor of 81? The prime factor of 81 will be the number three. Three goes how many times? Into 81, it goes 27 times. What will be the factor of 27? Again, it will be the number three. Three goes into 27, nine times. Factors of nine will be again three. Three into nine goes again three times. Now, what will be the factor of 162? It will be two times three times three times three times three four times. Therefore, that means we can write 162 to the power of n as two times three times three times three times three four times all to the power of n which will give us two times three to the power of four all to the power of n which is equals to two to the power n multiplied by three to the power of four n. Now let's write 25 to the power n plus 1 as a power with a prime base. Prime factorize 25 and write the power in brackets. So this will be written as 25 is the same as 5 to the power 2 to be all to the power of n plus 1 which will be equals to, we can use what we call our distributive law, 2 times n and 2 times 1. So our answer will be 5 to the power of 2, n, 2 times 1, plus 2. Now let's try one that's a bit trickier. Write this expression as a power of 3, 9 to the power of x, times 27 to the power of x plus 1. We know that 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 2, and 27 is 3 to the power of 3. So let's put these powers in brackets. That means here we'll have 3 to the power 2, all to the power of x, multiplied by 3 to the power 3, all to the power of x plus 1. Multiply that out, we'll have 3 to the power 2x times 3 to the power of 3 times x, which is 3x, and 3 times 1, which is plus 3. Again, we apply our first law. Bases are the same. We simply add the exponents. That will be equal to 2x plus 3x. plus 3. We can add these two together because they are like terms. So our answer will be 3 to the power 5x plus 3. Good. Can you write exponential expressions with prime bases? The big idea here is to recognize the base as a power of prime numbers. With this knowledge, you should be able to simplify fractions that contain exponential expressions. Simplify 9 to the power x multiplied by 27 to the power of x plus 1, all divided by 3 to the power of 5x. We have just seen that the numerator is equal to 3 to the power of 5x plus 3. So let's just substitute for 9x times 27 to the power of x plus 1 by 3 to the power of 5x plus 3 all divided by 3 to the power of 5x. Apply our second law. If we are dividing, bases are the same. That means we can simply subtract the exponents. It means in this case we'll have 
3 to the power of 5x plus 3 take away 5x. That will give us the 5x take away 5x will give us 0. 0 plus 3 gives us 3. That means the answer will be 3 to the power of 3, which is equals to 27. Are you ready to simplify this example? 8 to the power n plus 1 divided by 4 to the power n multiplied by 2 to the power n plus 1. Are the bases the same? We have the bases 8, 4, and 2. But they are all powers of 2. If we write each base as a power of 2, we'll be able to use the exponential laws to simplify the expression. Now let's look at 8 to the power n plus 1. This can be written as 2 to the power of 3, all to the power of n plus 1, divided by 2 to the power 2, all to the power of n, multiplied by 2 to the power of n plus 1. Let's remove the brackets there. That will give us 2 to the power of 3 n plus 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2 n times 2 to the power of n plus 1. In this case, the bases are the same. Let's apply our first law. It says if the bases are the same, we can simply add the exponents. That means we'll end up with 2 to the power of 3 n plus 3 divided by 2 to the power of 3n plus 1. And lastly, we must divide. The bases are the same, so we can subtract the exponents. We have a base of 2 and 2. Apply our second law. That will be 2 to the power of 3n plus 3. What do we take away? We take away 3n, and we're taking away 1. That will give us 2 to the power of 3n minus 3n. That gives us 0. 3 take away 1 gives us 2. That means we'll be left with 2 to the power of 2, which is equals to 4. We will use this section in the upcoming lessons, so make sure you understand this concept well. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Exponents Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about Exponents on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.